What up, Pandudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this foldable Bluetooth keyboard. It says for Apple iOS devices, but I think you could use it for anything. It's called the F18, and I thought it was just kind of interesting. This one's in silver, but it comes in like a gold, I think kind of the Apple champagne, rose gold and space gray, so you can really match it to what you want. But uh, as a Bluetooth keyboard, I, I'm just, I'm assuming it'll just work with pretty much anything. But what's cool about it is how it folds, or what's unique about it maybe I should say is, is how it folds. So here's what we have in the box. Uh, let's see. We have, looks like a cable in here. Um, and I'm assuming maybe a micro USB cable for this little F F18, not Hornet nor Super Hornet, just F-18 as in somehow Function 18. Uh, let's see here, oh, come on baby, there we go. All right, micro USB cable, looks like it's pretty long, you know, probably like five feet, so, so you've got that, you've got a way to charge it, and then here's the keyboard, and that's where I think you should be saying, what, that's weird dude, that's strange. But that's why I got it, because it's cool. I mean, it looks like a pencil case or something, or like an artist's travel case for brushes. Um, and that's because it kind of folds up like crazy accordion style, and I wanted to check it out here. So let's see. So look at this. It, it, it opens like this, and then the keyboard is split down the center, but horizontally. And then this back, uh, only folds out to about there, so it kind of TPs out, and then looks like you have a little uh, shelf that folds out here, and as you can see, it has a little lip there, so it should hold whatever your device is in place. And then over here we have some lights for uh, battery and Bluetooth. Let's see if we can find that USB cable, or oh, there's the micro USB port right there so you could even have it charged and plugged in when you're working on it um, the this piece here it's kind of like milled out sheet metal or molded sheet metal fits over this plastic piece where I'm assuming all the electronics are or most of them and then you have you know in the metal case here the keyboard so this is kind of interesting like I said it kind of looks like you know it's not it's not a full-size keyboard but it's a smaller keyboard but what's cool is that, you know, all the keys are generally spaced about where they'd be. There's maybe just a little more gap between this row because it's hinged. But I think if this would be a lot easier to type on, especially if you're on the road, maybe you're a road warrior, this is easy to type on. You know, even for me typing right now, uh, my finger memory of a regular keyboard is actually pretty good on this. You probably do have to look at it a little bit to kind of um, you know, control where you're where you're going with it, but there it is. There's a little ribbon right there to kind of pull the electronics together. So if we pull this down here, uh, now I got to figure out how to turn the bad boy on. To turn it on. I think the instructions say to hit this function button and this Bluetooth button. Oh, and now look at that. Got a little blinking Bluetooth light there. I am going to open up my iPad in the Bluetooth mode here. And boom, look at that, keyboard right there. I don't know if it's going to ask me to input anything, but nope, looks like it just went ahead and paired. So it didn't even ask me to input anything. And now the cool thing about this is um, I have my keyboard set up here. Let's see. And I've got the little lip down there. And this is a, you know, iPad mini. And I think <laughs> that fits it really darn well. You know, you go up to a larger iPad or something, no problem. I think that's going to fit too because, you know, the, the lip, the ledge only goes this, is only this wide. But, you know, if you have a, you know, the iPad Pro or something like that, it's even going to be maybe <laughs> more like using a, a, a um, you know, a real computer. So let's go ahead and try typing on it. I've gone ahead and opened up the ubiquitous iPad Notes application here. And let's go ahead and type. This is Peter, oops, Shift Peter Von Panda. Now the shift is a little small here. Typing on my iPad. So what's really cool is, again, you know, especially on the sides here, 
the buttons get a little small, like the shifts are a little small, you know, I kind of expected them to be a little wider when I was typing by muscle memory, but you can certainly adapt and, you know, to respond to an email or to write, you know, the, the next chapter in your great American novel or whatever you're going to do is a lot easier on this. And so that is pretty, pretty cool. I am, I am digging this thing. All right. So now when you're done, how do you turn this sucker off? So what's interesting is I'm just going to put the iPad down there and I'm just going to go ahead and flip this tray back in there, close this, close this and fold it back up into this nice little compact portable self right there. And I'm going to take a look at the iPad and you can see that the keypad just came up or the keyboard just came up because that Bluetooth uh, connection was lost. So what it appears to do is when you fold it back up, it shuts itself off, which is pretty cool. Now I'm just going to open it back up one time here and look at that. Uh, it's gone ahead and paired already. So by opening it up, somehow that that turned it on since I already had it paired. It's now paired again with my iPad and I can just go ahead and presumably start typing again. Boom. Pretty awesome. So I'm pretty geeked about this, man. Uh, definitely I'm gonna use the this maybe on a, another trip, you know? I think if you're gonna be out there and be a road warrior, go on vacation, go on extended vacation, work on the road, whatever, uh, try to work on your commute on your train ride or in the back of a car or whatever, this could be really useful. Now I'm gonna let you in a little secret. I'm not going to work on this keyboard here because I wanna give it away. I want to make some road warriors dreams come true and uh, we're going to give away this foldable Bluetooth keyboard, this F18 keyboard to one lucky pan dude out there. Uh, I'm going to give this sucker away on Saturday, April 1st, 2017. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I got more stuff coming up. Subscribe to my channel and comment below. Any comment will do, just put the country that you live in somewhere in the comment because this uh, giveaway is only gonna be open to people with an address, a mailing address in the United States or Canada because that's where I can afford to ship it to at the moment. So um, if you live in one of those locales or can accept a shipment in one of those locales and you are picked as the random commenter on April 1st, uh, I'll reach out to you and get this off to you. So you'll get this exact silver Bluetooth foldable keyboard. I really find it pretty cool. I'll put a link to it in the description too if you want to pick one up. Um, maybe this solves your needs. I hope it does. I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty awesome. Peter Von Panda, out.